incredible. 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 It's beautiful! <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Look at that hype train on Twitch, thank you. Oh my gosh, hopefully you can hear me and see me. I haven't streamed in like two weeks, so I feel very out of practice. 
So, um, welcome everyone. Now, before we proceed, this is a huge spoiler zone. So if you're joining for the first time or you just decided to pop by, please be aware this has massive spoilers for episode 91. Um, if you haven't watched the episode yet, I would really recommend clicking away and coming back and checking out the VOD because this is one you really don't want to get spoiled. I mean, if you've been in the chat, it probably has already been spoiled for you because people have been talking about it in the chat, but just FYI. Gosh, there is so much going on. So I'm going to say hi to everybody um, on Twitch and YouTube. It looks like we have a huge crowd here today on both sides. So please bear with me. I've missed all of you so much. I've missed streaming. Um, I did do a little bit of like, I guess I did like a soft announcement um, sort of on my socials, but I've been having a lot of health issues. Um, and so I have scaled things massively back so that I can cope with those and so that I can not overwhelm myself. It's actually the first time in my life that I have like pulled back on my work schedule significantly like i've pulled back on my my day job as well and it's weird it's very strange i'm very grateful and lucky that i've been in the position to do that as well so anyway um my plan is to stream like once maybe twice a week and do a video once a month at least or maybe uh once or twice um and just kind of yeah then slowly ease things back in hopefully when my health gets back on track i'm I'm fine, like it's it's all good, but it's just a few little things I've got to clear up. Okay, let's scroll up and say hi to everybody. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get everybody because I'm not sure if I think the chat might have cut off. Um, so I'll do my best and if I miss you, I'm so sorry. Energy Games, welcome to Bomb, hello. Necromantic Deity, thank you for the follow. Abelobex Evandra, hello. Elaine, Enchanted Waffles, Inked Fish, Tarry, Tire Boy, Launchpad, Cassius. Uh, Crick Lane, hello. Tire Boy, thank you so much for the sub. Actually, I might do the subs separately because I've got a separate list for those. It's easier for me to do. Alana, Jesper, hello. Uzdra, uh, Schmidt, hello. Grim on a sunny day. Opera Ghost, welcome. Queen of Pups, Twin Masks. Liani, hello. Uzdra, uh, welcome to you. Uh, who have I not said hello to? Uh, J-Rock, hello. Jace, welcome. Oh my gosh, Silent Infinity. <laughs> Okay, oh my, look at all these sub gifts. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to say hi to everybody. Sherwood. Monster Cronus, Dagger of the Sea, Crazy Cat Mama, hello. Fun Dude, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Lord Petrov, I'm so sorry. I, I, I actually just can't keep up. Um, YouTube, let me try you guys. <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for joining the Chaos Crew. Hello, welcome to you, Mr. Seabloom, Harlock, Calamity, Siren, John. Oh my God, there's so many people here today. Um, Artie Baron, hello. Monica, thank you for joining the Chaos Crew. Thank you so much. Uh, checkers, hello, Art Lover Animation, welcome to you. Uh, Quinn, hi, Monica, Ron Claire, Autographs, Cat, hello. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Holy dooly, you're giving me the critter hug of death right now. <laughs> um, Jewel Dragon, thank you for the gifted sub. Solo Eki, thank you for the follow. Therry Guy, Sergeant Grimmel, thank you for the follows. Once in future for the 1000 bits. Artie Barrett, thank you for the resub for six months. The alerts are going crazy. Jaylee, thank you for the 100 bits. Prismalin, thank you for the follow. Templar Witch, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. Crazy Cat Mama, thank you for the 100 bits. Alana Rose, thank you for the resub. Templar, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Uh, Jose, Pixel, Silent Infinity, thank you so much for the subs. And Gift Sub, Silent Infinity, thank you for so many gift subs. Moon Druid, thank you for the resub. Oh my gosh. Tire Boy, am I catching up? Thank you for the resub. Okay, I think I've caught up, mostly. Thank you. Um, oh, and Robert, thank you so much for gifting five Luboffin memberships. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Okay, I think I think I'm I think I'm I'm caught up. Lord Papa, thank you for the follow. Jaylee, thank you for the 100 bits. Jewel Dragon, thank you for the gifted sub. If I didn't already say thank you, I'm sorry if I've missed anything. Um, but welcome, welcome in everyone. I'm so glad that we could all be here today together. As you can see, I've dressed for the occasion. This is your final spoiler warning, everybody. Final spoiler warning. If you have not watched episode 91, dearly beloved, <laughs> with these lo-fi beats in the background, <laughs> dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember fresh cut grass. <laughs> Yes, today we are going to be talking all about Fresh Cut Grass. There are other things that happen in that episode, but honestly, what else can we talk about other than that? 
Um, so that is what we're going to be discussing today. We're going to take a little look back on some of our favorite moments. Um, I generally just want to get your impressions and your feelings about the episode. Um, I am working on a video about uh, letters, working on... Um, kind of looking back on everything we've learned about FCG through the campaign, uh, any loose ends that haven't been tied up, unfortunately, and some speculation about what we think Sam is going to do for the rest of campaign three. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. And yeah, I just want to, I wanted to just get, gather with all of you and just like blah, into the microphone about it because yeah, what an absolutely incredible episode yeah truly a sub for the last 30 minutes of the stream yeah absolutely I must admit I've gotten a little like what's the right word like I guess I've been a little desensitized because I've just watched so much Critical Role and so much of it has been related to like work tasks so I'm like taking notes I'm like doing stuff but this one I just sat there I was crocheting while I was watching it but then I just stopped crocheting and I literally just stared at the screen and at the screen and cried <laughs> So yeah, absolutely wild. Um, Inkedfish, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, Becca, th for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a legendary way to end a character. Absolutely. Yes. And I, I said this way back in episode one. I think if you go back and look at my very first video about campaign three, I said, I don't trust this cheerful, happy-go-lucky robot. I know that Sam Regal is going to make me cry with this character. And here we are 91 episodes later. I mean, it's not a huge call to make because it's Sam Regal, but yes, it's it absolutely was, it was a wonderful moment. Honestly, I think it, it's my favorite moment of the campaign so far. I live for the drama. Honestly, anytime I am given emotional damage, it's my favorite. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's the same with my own D&D games. I'm like, do it, kill my character, do it, do it, kill him, break my heart into a million pieces. It's like, yeah. If, if For those in the know, like my favorite book series, you guys know, is The Locked Tomb. It's just exactly the same thing. It literally rips your heart out and breaks it into a million pieces. And I'm like, why do I do this to myself? So it was my favorite episode by far. Normally, I can't really follow combat. I get very overwhelmed and I just kind of tune out a little bit. But that combat was so good. It was really, really good. It was like scary. I, f I actually thought for sure it could end up being a TPK. I think even Matt thought it because Matt said at one point he kind of sighed and he said, well, every ending is just another beginning. And I think I really thought it was going to be a TPK for sure. Um, but then I think, yeah, I think um, that just came down to the dice rolls. Matt was rolling so high um, the whole time. So many nat 20s. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that level seven hype train, everybody. Um, oh, at level eight. Thank you so much. Com community contributed a total of 34 sub gifts and 3,100 bits. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think Matt was just rolling so well. He rolled so many nat 20s and then the party was just really not rolling that well. Oh, I'm honestly in an alternate universe. What would it have looked like? What would it have looked like if, um, it TPK'd? I'm actually, I'm fascinated. I would have loved to have known. I, that would have been incredible. Why is there an ad running on Twitch? Twitch, we already had an ad. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, everybody. It says there's going to be an ad, but we, we should have already had one when the stream went live. I don't know. I'm so sorry. Why was Chet so useless? Oh, Chetney. Poor Chetney. Yeah. The, oh, I've been in that position when there's like... There's just nothing you can do. It's just so frustrating. You just keep getting knocked down and you can't seem to get back in. It's, yeah, it's very frustrating. Uh, the ad is going to start in like 20 seconds. But if you're a subscriber, you don't get ads. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Sorry, normally I do take a break when there's an ad running, but we've only been going for like 10 minutes. So I, I don't really want to take a break now. I'll take one for the next one. So, um, yeah. Oh, gosh. Um... I was a little pissed when he let Sam use Revivify. That's what clued on to me. Oh, this is going to go badly. This is going to this is going to go bad. <laughs> because I think otherwise he he probably he might not have. Let me grab my coffee. Look at that change of subject. Look at this cute little cup that I bought recently. Um Definitely would have been a TPK if Laura hadn't gotten the Echo Pack of Odahan. Yes. 
Yeah, it was it was wild. It was just so intense, but I think it had to be. I think it had to be. I think if Odahan like left them, like le like you know, allowed them to run away or didn't, you know, fully unleash on them, I don't think that would have felt good. I think for the story, Odahan had to go hard. It had to involve some sacrifice. I mean, I didn't necessarily want it to include a party de a player death, player character death. God damn it. But like it had to be hard, right? It had to. Odahan was this huge kind of thing in the forefront of the of campaign three, and I just think if it wasn't really hard, it wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't have felt right. So I'm glad it was. I'm glad that it was brutal because this has been a brutal campaign. You know, this is a really different campaign to previous campaigns that have felt a little bit more heroic, fancy. I saw someone. I think someone was saying this in the discord or maybe it was on reddit but the like the kind of the theme for this uh campaign has sort of been dread right it's been like a, an overwhelming feeling of dread they have a fight they don't feel victorious after the fight they just feel dread you know um <clears throat> and so i think it was right that that fight in particular felt extremely extremely i don't know hard it was just ugh, it was just incredible okay hold on drink Hmm. I went back and watched Sam's poker face. He almost didn't live long enough to detonate. Yeah. It was funny because I knew I got spoiled. So I knew going in what was going to happen. It was my own fault. Normally I don't bother about spoilers because I don't really care. But this was such a huge moment that I wish was not spoiled for me. I just forgot to mute the spoiler tag because I'm very lax with it. Normally, sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't bother. So I just forgot. And then I got spoiled on Twitter. Um, people were using spoiler tags. It's just I didn't tag. I didn't mute it. Um, so I knew what was going, I knew what was going to happen. So I was waiting for it and I was waiting, I was watching Sam really carefully to see, you know, when did this idea. And I remember Laura says earlier in the, in the fight, can I, can I exalt myself? Can I go like super Saiyan? And she was kind of like joking about it, but I wonder if that is kind of what twigged Sam's like, ah, I have this idea. Cause I think everybody, including myself had kind of forgotten about that little detail that we learned about FCG, that he had this like big you know, power core kind of situation and, and had been warned that like it could be really dangerous. So I wonder if it was the moment when, yeah, when Laura sort of said, oh, can I, can I do that again? That made Sam think like, oh, actually I can do this. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. I, I've saw, I saw some talk on like Reddit and stuff about maybe there's still the chance of FCG getting like revived through like a wish spell or resurrection or something. I don't, I don't want that. I really hope that they don't do that because I feel like it discounts the meaning behind the sacrifice. FCG finally having this realization that it's not the gods. It's not some outside external factor that gives meaning to your life. It's, it's the people that you love. It's the love you have for yourself. Those are the things that give you meaning. And I feel like that realization and that acceptance of what was going to happen. And then if they just brought him back again, I don't think it would feel right. I, I think it wouldn't, it wouldn't feel good. I, I really want it to just stand as like the final sacrifice, you know? Yeah. I'm so sorry about those ads, everybody. I will, I will take a break for the next one. It was just, I don't know why it ran so soon after I went live. Oh my goodness. Safiri, thank you so much for the resub. Penguinista, thank you for the sub. I did not catch the solar eclipse. I did not. I mean, I saw some photos and things, but yeah. Ancestra, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you to all the follows as well. There's actually been quite a lot, so I'm sorry that I've missed them. Um, the chat has just been absolutely wild. Mm. Matt's face after Laura said it was really 120 hit points after he took the potion was one of the realizations. Yeah, I think that was... Yeah, and I think when you add it up, I thought it was a little bit of a mistake to have Sam roll damage. I think he should have just narrated Odahan going down because then they twigged, oh, uh, wait, FCG hasn't actually done enough damage compared to how much Odahan healed or, you know, maybe she wasn't resistant to that damage. I think, you know, narratively, he could have just said, he could have just narrated it happening rather than rolling damage. I don't, you know, but I think in the moment, you know, you, you're trying to work out what to do. I don't, I, I don't hold any fault with that for that because like, he's like, uh, blah, blah, what do I do? You know? <laughs> yeah. Literally use the dagger heart mechanic. Yeah. Blaze of glory. Exactly. I missed why Imogen didn't go exultant. Did she? She didn't really try. No, she didn't really try. No, no. And that was never really explained what happened. You know, Matt was so shocked by what Sam did. Exactly. 
you got to give your characters the moment. Agreed, agreed. And I think, you know, if, if Oda Hahn had lived after that, I mean, that would not have been good. That had to be, that had to be the thing that did it, you know? Oh my gosh. His essence might be able to transfer to a different host. I mean, maybe, but I really don't want to, I don't want to see that. I mean, that's just me. If they, if they do it, whatever, like, you know, that's fine. Obviously it's their game, but I also don't know if Sam would want to do that because we've seen Sam in every campaign so far play multiple characters. <laughs> so I don't, I don't see Sam saying, oh yeah, let's bring FCG back. I don't necessarily see that. Can one have a resistance to a nuclear blast? Exactly, right? <laughs> Marisha had the role and it failed. Oh, do you mean when... I'm tr uh, when like she did the illusion thing. If Odahan lived, I would have left the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you get emotional? Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course. Yeah, I still got emotional even though I um. Uh, yeah, even though I already knew what was coming. <sighs> campaign two. Well, I mean, I I kind of count. I mean, multiple characters for me for campaign two, I guess you would consider is like a character reveal or like I, but I do kind of consider them to be separate characters in a way, because I think the role play and the gameplay did change significantly after that. But, you know, so yeah, I, I mean, I, I just kind of spoke generally, but I'm saying, you know, Sam loves to do a character reveal, loves to do you know, some kind of character thing. Um, there are ads every 55 minutes, so there won't be another one for like an, yeah, almost an hour. At least there shouldn't be. If there is, it's, it's unfortunately something to do with Twitch because I've turned my ads to be as, uh, infrequent as possible. We just take an ad break altogether. I don't know why that other one ran, so. Oh, I haven't been watching since they got to Ruidus. Oh no, the theater guy. Yes. Oh, man. Interesting. A new character this late in the campaign will be interesting. I mean, Addy, I wonder, like, Sam joked, like, see you in campaign four. But is that going to be a joke or is that actually what's going to happen? Because you're right. It is really late in the campaign. Um, It could make sense if it was like a Rhyloran maybe or something. But I don't see how the group... I mean, obviously, when you, you're in a D&D &D party... If you have a new character join and it's your friend, you like you you trip over yourselves to like integrate them into the party, right? Because that's how these things work. But I think Critical Role does try to be a little more true to like what the characters would be feeling and and stuff. So I, it would be difficult to integrate somebody new right after this moment, unless it's sort of someone who has to like they have to work with them, you know? If it's like a Rylauren or something like that, that is gonna excuse me is gonna help them. Uh, Percy, thank you. Percy Diolo, thank you for the 100 bits. Um, I can't believe how right Ashton was about FCG's desire to self-sacrifice. Yeah, I mean, I've been going through earlier episodes while I'm working on my video about this. And just from the very get-go, FCG was so ready to throw themselves into something. You know, I think it's super early where, well, it's when, it's after Laudner died and they're trying to work out who can help them. And they contact uh, Hexum, Gianna Hexum, because they're like, oh, well, she's like a, a big wig. Maybe she can help. And she sort of alludes to the fact that like, oh, I can help you, but there will be a price. And the whole group is like, I think that price is going to be you, FCG. Like, I think she's going to want to take you. And FCG is like, well, that seems okay to me. Like, why not? I think that that's a worthy trade. And everyone's like, are you kidding me? Like, no. You know, so I think just there were so many little moments like that where FCG kind of saw themselves as being in service to other people. Um yeah, and that's, I mean, that carried through. But I think I think it evolved to, to a point of rather than like, I am made to serve people, it, it evolved into, I want to, I mean, serve or help these people because I love them, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just so good. <laughs> Just so good. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm sorry. The chat is going so fast. I'm really sorry that I'm missing a lot of your messages, but... Uh, I know how far behind I am. I live off of spoilers. No worries, Rage. How are you going? Good to see you. Um, Scanlan or Taryn could come back. Oh, I hope not. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to see any more, any more big NPCs coming in. I, I just, yeah, I don't know. Oh, truly a faithful caregiver. Absolutely. Do you think Imogen has fully turned Liliana against lewdness? Yeah. So that was interesting because Liliana kind of came with them or was with them at the end. So I don't know. That all happened so fast. I I don't know if she's going to be fully turned or not. 
I don't know if I want her to be. Ah, it's hard, isn't it? I mean, I would... I don't know. I've never been in that situation, so I guess I can't know. But to have like an estranged child who you haven't seen in 20 years and then to find out that that child is literally about to die, even though you haven't done anything for them beforehand, what would you... I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a wild, a wild hypothetical that, you know, I'm very... <laughs> I'm grateful that I've never had to to work out myself, but 31 is a huge persuasion check. That's right. She did roll huge on that persuasion. She did. That's right. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure about Liliana either. Um, yeah. I don't know. Is she going to come back to Alexandria with them? Is she just gonna, like, what is she going to do? She obviously wants to keep Imogen safe. It just depends on how is she going to go about doing that? You know? I don't know. I think Matt's plan was to have Liliana show up and rescue Bell's Hells. Yeah. She followed. Well, they sort of... It's a bit unclear to me, I think. I think Liliana is going to die killing Ludinus. Oh my god, Jenny, That would be wild. I'm going in tapped for spells, no potions, no healer. So, do they, ha do they have access to teleport? Because I know the staff is, like, out of slots, right? Um... But does Imogen, does Imogen now have teleport because they leveled up? Because they don't normally do their level up stuff until they have a rest, right? I don't know. Yeah. They need to rest. Oh, man. Where are they going to rest? Yeah. They have the lake portal. If they can get there, wasn't that like quite a, wasn't that like a quite a ways travel away? <laughs> quite a ways away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't think she took teleport. Yeah, she have to learn it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Matt was clearly gonna let a TPK happen. Yeah. Well, I think I think maybe a TPK TPK could have happened until that thirty-one persuasion check, and then maybe Liliana could have come in and like done some things. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those things that I guess we'll just never know, right? Mm. I'm nervous about what Liliana meant by vessel. Yeah, a couple of people on YouTube are also ch talking about vessel. Well, I think to me it makes perfect sense. I think um, whatever, I think whatever happens when Pradathos is released, it needs an avatar to exist in. So I think Liliana is going to be Pradathos incarnate, and I think he, she doesn't want Lil Ludinus to know exactly how powerful Imogen is because she doesn't want that to happen to Imogen. That's my pr theory anyway. I have, I, I feel like Pradathos is going to be like contained within a person, but then can be like unleashed on the gods. I think whoever that person is, is going to totally lose themselves. You know, Laura said she did choose teleport as a seventh level spell. Okay. There you go. It's narratively acceptable for them to just manifest new spells. Yeah. Just depends whether they will. Cause I think critical role in its current iteration is quite a stickler for the, for the rules. A lot of the time. Not all of the time, but yeah. They as a group were going to play it out however it played out. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Um, I'm just I'm just speculating about what might have happened. Got a Vespa and Chloris situation brewing. Yeah. Does that mean that Liliana is the BBEG? Ooh, maybe. I mean, Pradathos just feels like way too big of a thing for a group of adventurers. So I just don't, I mean, maybe that is how Matt is going to get around it of like, yeah, it's this huge, like God eating thing that like, I mean, it has, it's so big. It has to be encased in a moon. You know what I mean? Um, maybe that's how there's going to be this fight is because there will be like an avatar of Pradathos, a vessel. Um, yeah. Because is there, I mean, is there anyone else that Ludinus would want to use instead of L Liliana that we know of? I guess there was Odahan, but Odahan's gone now. Uh, Apathy, Apathy, Apathy Arisen. Apathy Arisen, sorry, I got there. Hello, welcome in. I guess sticklers for the rules is the wrong thing, but I think they do try and follow the mechanical rules a lot more than I would <laughs> as a DM. Planet Size God is just too big. Exactly, right? Lunas wants to absorb Pradathos. Ooh, Schmick, that's a great call, actually. Yeah, because if Pradathos is contained within someone, then you could potentially attempt to uh, siphon them. 
Um, did they get Odahan's swords? I think so. I think they've actually picked up like a lot of loot from that um, that fight. <laughs> so yeah. Hello, Dice Legends. Welcome. How are you going? Also, by the way, everybody, I forgot to say this earlier, but we do actually have... What am I doing with my window? Whoa. Uh, we do actually have a sub giveaway and thank you so much to all those uh, amazing subs and gifted subs earlier. We're actually only eight subs away from a Critical Role Shop voucher giveaway. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's what that little counter is down there. Um, a sh shop voucher in the sort of shop region of your choice. <laughs> Templar, thank you so much for gifting eight subs. You beat me to it, Templar. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> All right, well, we will do the giveaway. Now, for those watching on YouTube, this is a giveaway over on Twitch because it's a Twitch sub giveaway, but you're welcome to come over to Twitch and enter. Um, just twitch.tv forward slash Luboffin if you want to just jump over for the giveaway and then jump back over to YouTube. I don't mind. Um, maybe I should try and do some giveaways on the YouTube streams. I just don't stream as much on YouTube as I do on Twitch. Um, let me pull up the giveaway thingy. Thank you so much, Temple Witch. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Bad timing as far as the giveaway to come into YouTube. Yeah. Well, you've got time to come over to um to Twitch if you want. All right, giveaways. All right. In a minute, we're gonna watch a couple of little clips too of um of our fa favorite moments. Uh, typing a keyword in chat. Okay. All right, we're going to do a giveaway. I'm going to create this. To enter the giveaway, uh, please type exclamation point FCG in the chat uh, to enter the giveaway. Exclamation point FCG. Uh, if you've got um, just Jane here from YouTube, thank you. If you've got something you want to say about the episode, I would just wait a moment because in a second, the chat is going to go absolutely wild with giveaway entries. Um... So yes, please, please go forth. All right, well, I'm so sorry, YouTube. Um, this is a Twitch chat giveaway. So if you would like to enter, you need to go over to the Twitch chat. I can see some people trying to enter there. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, the lag, the lag. I might type it in the chat as well. Uh, sorry, folks. The giveaway is over on Twitch. <laughs> FCG's in the chat, yeah. Um... There we go. Um, that backpack plus residue from Percy would make Aram a Superman. Oh yeah, I'm curious if they're going to be able to to do anything with the backpack or not. One of the chat in the joke, yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. FCG in the chat is a is a fun saying. Um, thank you so much for the follows here on Twitch. Just Jane, Apathy Arisen, uh, Dietius. I hope I said that correctly. Underneath, thank you, my blah, 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 underneath. Thank you so much for the resub for twelve months. Now you get the shiny rainbow badge. And uh, thirty-one, Jason. Thank you so much for the resub as well. Thank you, everybody. Uh, sucking the backpack would only give a stat buff. It's more valuable for arm. Yeah, I mean, would he want to use it though? I don't know if he's going to give them use of that backpack. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about too, because it does feel pretty OP. But then again, they did take down a pretty OP enemy. So, oh um, yeah, I don't think the F I don't think the the K there is like a case sensitive thing for the giveaway. But I did it lowercase, lowercase FCG. Sorry, I should have said. I, but I don't think it matters. Robert, thank you so much for gifting another five memberships. Thank you, thank you so much. Killed his dad and husband, right? Exactly. And also it just feels icky. <laughs> I don't know. It feels icky to use. I mean, I've never felt that way about other things that they've gotten necessarily, but oh, I made my coffee a bit too sweet today. All right. I shall give you a few more moments to enter the giveaway. So this is a giveaway over on Twitch chat, exclamation point FCG. Um, in the chat, a few more moments. The giveaway is for a Critical Role shop gift voucher for the shop in your region. I'm so sorry for those of you in South America. I see those comments every time somebody, um, or every time Critical Role shares merch on the Twitter. Um, if you don't have a Critical Role shop in your region, 
Uh, I can also do like a and d Beyond gift voucher if you want, or a DM's Guild. Something like that is fine too. <sighs> this is about a whole extra class. Exactly, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would be it would be pretty wild to give one of them a maybe it'll be like it's broken or it was or or another way to do it would be that it's like um biomechanically like connected to the person, you know. Thankfully some of us in South America found a workaround with a courier service. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Hoping they would do a special episode of Four Sided Dive in tribute. I imagine the next Four Sided Dive, because it's not that far off. It's only a couple of weeks. We'll, we'll be FCG heavy. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Let's 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 draw this giveaway. Here we go. Last chance to answer. Exclamation point FCG. Archie and Moose, thank you so much for the follow. Maybe you can get a suitable boost by sucking the backpack up. Yeah, maybe. You can see the argument that FCG sacrifice saves Aurum from his service to Mori, but they also did technically come back from the moon alive when they went through the back door. Yeah, I think that that is going to be a very interesting conversation when we get to it. I, yeah. But also, because I think Aurum did kind of use that little Nanamari connection, right? When the Weave Mind confronted them. I wonder if Matt's plan was to have them be apprehended and thrown in like a prison or something. I don't know. I'm curious what was going to happen. I must admit that some of the episode is a little bit of a blur because I think everything just got like blocked out of my mind with what happened with FCG that everything else was just like gone. <laughs> All right. We're going to draw the entrant now. Here we go. The winner is Sunflower Girl 006. Over on Twitch, the winner is, there you go. I'll just put this in the chat so that you can see. Are you still here? Make yourself known to me. Oh my gosh, I think I need, to... is slow mode not on? I'm gonna turn slow mode on because I'm sorry. The chat is going so fast. <laughs> Sunflower girl, are you still here? Please make yourself known to me unless I already missed you. Because if you're not here, I will draw it again. But I'm assuming you're still here, hopefully. They knew they were in trouble. <laughs> they knew they were in trouble when Chetney got killed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's my brain. Oh, you're here? No worries. Thank you so much. I will send you... Actually, no. Can you send me a message on Twitch? Send me a whisper and then I will get your email address. I just... Yeah. If you just send me your email address through a Twitch whisper, then I will send you the details. Um, but we've said mine said the others must go. I don't think they meant exile. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what happened with that because I feel like it all happened so fast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sorry. The chat was rolling by so quick that I missed the message. Let the weave mine encounter. What did Chet save against? Do you think Nanamari made them go away? I thought it was Nanamari that made them go away because it seemed weird that they left. So, yeah, I don't know. And, and didn't Aram call out in that moment? Like he was like, I really need you. And then they left. So I kind of intuited that as being, it was Nanamari's sort of plucking of the the fate, the the weave of fate that did it. Lex Mateship, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Oh. Trevor's been trying to kill Chetney for a while. Yeah. <laughs> But we might let them because they knew they would never resist, so they sent Odahan to kill them instead. But they knew they would resist. Well, I I don't know. I get the feeling that the Weave Mine are pretty powerful, though. So I don't know. It was an illusion. They weren't really there. Yeah, but I I just feel like I don't know. I imagine that they have a lot more influence than we've seen so far. You know. Hey, Wildfire, welcome in. Thank you for the follow as well. Yeah, four action surges was mad. It was pretty wild. But when you think about it, you're going up against a party of seven, that's eight eight attacks, right? Which is not really that wild for if you're fighting a single combatant. It was just, I think the, the dice went against them and they were already a bit tapped. So, yeah. <sighs> Odaham was built to be a player killer. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. 
Part of the deal, RMA, was that they all come back safe. Does FCG's fall negate that? Well, just call me Mark, because people are suggesting that they did already return to Exandria once before. So does that mean the deal is done? I originally said I don't think it meant the deal was done because I thought it was too interesting of a narrative thread for Matt to have on Arm. But now that FCG is done, I wonder if that'll be... Yeah, if that's going to come up. That always rolls like a goddamn monster when he's controlling Odahan. Yeah. <laughs> Four action surges. Mm. I mean, she also had legendary actions and whatnot, but I don't know. As I said at the top of the stream, I'm glad it was a brutal fight. I thought it had to be because this this campaign has been dark. It's been grim. And I think a fight with Odahan that was not close to a TPK wouldn't have felt right. You know, and counterbalancing means nothing when dice are ridiculous. Yeah, right. Yeah, the dice do love to be swingy sometimes. But RM said, see this through. I mean, yeah, agreed. Yeah. I mean, if, if, it, if, it, if it does mean that the deal is done, then I'm happy. I don't want Aram to be a, uh, a, like beholden to Nanamari. So, you know. If someone went down in an easy way, it wouldn't feel as good. Yeah. Let's see Ludinus' tantrum when he realizes Odahan is offline. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, phew. if or if that was the Yodahan fight, <laughs> what is the Ludinus fight going to look like? You know what I mean? It's going to be absolutely crazy. Totally wild. Oh, Sunflower Girl, I see that you've messaged me. Thank you so much. I will do that after the stream. If I don't end up doing it after the stream and it's been a couple of days, please feel free to prompt me. Sometimes I do forget things, but I will do my best to do it straight after stream so I don't forget. <sighs> hmm. Oh, people are talking on YouTube about um, Lordner having the backpack and having echoes. That would be pretty creepy. Need to be level 99. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think the party dynamic would change? Not only change. With, uh, will change with not only the death of their healer, but also the death of one of the main emotional cores of the group. Look, if they don't come together, if they don't come together and like stop dilly dallying about what they think about the gods, I mean, they haven't been, they've been doing stuff. So it's not like they've been fully dilly dallying, but like if this doesn't bring them together the way the Mighty Nine were brought together, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to be annoyed. Like this has got to, this has got to galvanize the group. I want them to be angry. I want them to be cohesive. I want them to all be working together to avenge FCG. That's what I want. Arm is going to be... Arm's fucked. <laughs> Excuse my language, but... Arm has watched another friend go down from Odahan. F Arm is not going to be coping, you know? Like when Coulson... <gasps> Spoilers. Just kidding. It's fine. The movie's like, what, 15 years old or something? <laughs> But yes, exactly. Yeah, it needs to galvanize them. Oh, man. Ashton is more fucked than Aram. I mean, I disagree because I think Aram is better at keeping it on lockdown. Aram is pushing those feelings deep, deep down. He's, he's not, he needs therapy. He needs so much therapy, you know? Ashton is messed up, but I think Ashton has had that moment. Well, not hasn't had that moment, but like has had a moment of being vulnerable and talking about his feelings and stuff and, and coming to terms with them and like their own relationship to their body. And stuff. like, I think Ashton has had a little bit of growth and has that moment of like, you know, I don't know, relying on the others a little bit more. Whereas Arm has been like, no, I'm here for the group. I'm here to protect my friends. Nothing else matters. And if that's your only purpose in life and then you've, you've failed, I mean, obviously Orem didn't fail, but like his own perception could be that he's failed. Like Orem is going to be bad. Yeah. Someone said um, Orem is going to go full Liam on us. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> From what Liam said on Force Out of Drive, Orem isn't going to break. But wasn't that episode, wasn't that before this episode, that Force Out of Drive? Or am I? Because I'm a bit behind on four-sided dive. I might have gotten it wrong, though. It was before the episode, four-sided dive. Yeah. 
So, I mean, this could be this could be what breaks Arum. I mean, I don't think Arum is going to stray from um stray from the path, you know what I mean? I think I think Arum is still going to be laser focused on getting it done, but I just think I think it's going to be a heavy heavy toll. It was episode 90. Yeah, I don't think they would have filmed it after episode 91 and not talked about it, you know what I mean? I think they would have just held off on filming or doing a full-sided dive. Because that would be weird to talk about it. Like, to not be able to talk about it. I don't know. Or I'm just be the embodiment of despair. Oh my god, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I don't think... So someone said I want Fern to flirt with Liliana. I don't think the group is going to be very favorable towards Liliana. And I really hope they are not favorable towards Liliana. Because, I mean, great. She showed up in their moment of need. But, like, it's... I mean, she could have showed up all the other times that Imogen reached out. So she has a, she has some faults of some fault in FCG's death. She ha there's some blame to place at her feet. And I, I don't, I don't want the party to be like, Oh, you came to our side. Thank you so much. We forgive you now. Welcome to the family. Like, I don't want to see that. I, I mean, I did, that's a very big, that's a dramatization of it. But like, yeah, I, I want to see, I want to see some, some drama. I want to see them get angry. She's got FCG's motor oil on her hands. No, dirty. <laughs> she's had enough chances. I agree, Paul. I agree. You know, if she's going to try and come over to the good side, that's great. Um, but it's it's going to be too late for, for most of the party, I think. I think, unless, yeah, I think, I don't think there's any way that Liliana could, could redeem herself fully. At least in my opinion. Who gets to tell poor Frida? I know. I'm not ready for that. Or I'm supposed to be Liam's less angsty character. I <laughs> yeah. She's too dead in the cult mindset. I wonder if she's going to do something bonkers, like try and lock up Lim Imogen somewhere to keep, to like keep her safe. Do you know what I mean? Like she doesn't want to, she doesn't want Imogen to become what she's going to become, but she's also not going to turn against the Ruby Vanguard either. And I think, yeah. I'm not sure. All right. Are we ready to emotionally damage ourselves? Are we ready to watch this moment? I might cry on stream. I shouldn't have worn any makeup. I think it might be time. We haven't watched it yet because we've been talking about it. But let's watch it together. Let's cry together, everybody. Bring on the pain. Here we go. Let's turn off this chill lo-fi. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me make sure the volume is up and the closed captions are on. All right. Are we ready? We probably, I don't know how much of the whole thing we can watch because of, I don't know how long it is, the whole actual moment. We, well, we might be able to. I normally don't like to play super long clips, but. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I should probably move this because I'm blocking Tal. So let's, oh, not Tal, Travis. Oh, wait, I just realized that they're sitting in different seats. Why are they sitting in different seats? Why did that happen? Oh, they changed based off the team split. Oh, see, I... Oh, guys, this is time for me to have a confession. I didn't watch the previous episode. I didn't watch episode 90 because I fell really far behind. And then I saw... I got spoiled and I was like, oh, fuck, I got to watch episode 91. So I just read the recap. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't, I'm going to watch it. I promise. I'm going to watch it. I just haven't watched it yet. Guys, don't revoke my credit card, okay? Don't... No! It's still me, I promise. I promise it's still me. <laughs> I just, I read the recap and I was like, okay, I can watch this later, but I really need to see what happens to FCG. So, <laughs> I can't believe I outed myself. I'm so sorry. Episode 90 is worth it. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm gonna watch it. Fake fan. I'm not a fake fan. The amount of times I've been called a fake fan because I haven't finished campaign one. Let me tell ya. Alright, let's let's watch this. I'm ready to cry. 
on stream. I'm going to do my best to hold it in. I did have therapy this morning, so I have cried a lot already today. I don't think I need to cry anymore, but we'll see how we go. Okay. Everyone gather around. Here we go. Oh, okay. Buffering. Great. <laughs> what a great start. Hello? In my berserk uh, anger, fueled by stress, I will take out my change bringer coin. Uh, I will hold it out in front of me, and I will, I will cast at my highest level left, guiding bolt uh, at level four uh, on myself. Uh, straight through the, the the orb portal glass thing and I will I will aim it at my heart uh, and I will uh, I will trigger a, a nuclear reaction if if at all possible I get to roll wait, with advantage what? wait what <laughs> you got a what <laughs> oh, he wants to blow up his is core. he bla is he blaze of glory yeah. are you blaze of glory I'm blaze of glorying that's a 14 plus 11 to hit. So that hits. Yeah. Uh, just hits. Yeah. It hits me. Oh, it hits you. It hits you. <laughs> no, no, yes. No. No. Okay. I am so mad no, at you right now. No. Two things. So mad at you. Two things. I'm so proud of you. Two things. One, do you want to reposition yourself? Because there is a blast radius. I would know what the blast radius is, so I would, with all of my movement, I would just sort of charge into her and push as hard as I can okay. as I as I power up. Push past this way. And two, just so you are aware. Uh-huh. What's the saving throw that I have to make on this to survive, right? It's like a DC 12, 13? <laughs> is it, are we able to get him up? Are we able to get him up after he does this? Just yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you understand. You understand what this means. Just, just, just so we're clear. The, no, the and rage, that's okay. No, the rage that I feel, uh, the stress no. being so high, the fuel pumping through my my core, it it has reached a level it's never reached before, and it is so uh, it is so intense that for the first time. I realize that I am made of metal and wires, but I am, I am alive. I am alive for the first time. And I am alive not because I was made by D or Dancer or even the Changebringer. I'm alive because they made me alive. And, and it's the connections that I made with all of them. And it's a feeling of, of joy and, um, and I, I'm happy to do this, because they saved my life. And I'll save theirs. Okay. Uh... Oh man, I think I can tell when like, I mean, I, obviously I don't know him, so I can't tell, but like, I feel like when Sam, Sam's voice goes up a little and he gets that almost like jokey kind of tone, you can tell he's keeping that shit on lockdown because then his voice starts to wobble towards the end. Oh my God. Ah. Ah. It's like the same in Calamity. Oh my, oh my. Oh no. Oh my God. Brutal. He's trying to promote Dagger. That's all it is. It's just a, it's just a marketing stunt. See, everyone's realizing second their faces. I love when Marisha is like, can we can we bring bring them back up? And <laughs> Travis is just like, Marisha. <laughs> this mean SCG, yes, Gail, yeah. Didn't his voice start to break? Yeah. It it does the it does the wobble. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Cry every time. No. See Sam say, don't get close to me. Oh, I missed that. Um, you can see the waves of reactions happening to each player. Yeah. It's a business. I mean, yeah, they are actors, sure. But I think they also feel emotion. <laughs> I think I think acting in this way is also 
very different because you are the one creating the character and you and there's like I think it's it's different to like acting in a in a play or a movie or something like that um yeah it was so full-on absolutely loved it yeah all right let's keep going for a little bit let's d emotionally damage ourselves some more okay uh you know what Go ahead and roll some damage for me. Go ahead and. Do you have this? Do you know what? No, I don't we're, know what we're, this does. we're going for this on the spot. Um, go ahead and roll twenty d eight for me, please. Uh, I'll lend you. Hey, everybody, lend some dice in this. What's more poetic than that? Really? I'm gonna need help just counting these. Oh That's God. more than 20, I feel. That's my good shit. Okay. Uh, here's five. Here's 10. What did you count out? Pick what you want. Okay. Five. And another five. Oh, I hate this. I love it, but I hate oh, it. I love it, but I hate it. Yeah. That Absolutely. Okay. Wild. Counting, counting, counting. Bats. 73. 79. 79 damage. So, FCG, how do you want to do this? Oh, <laughs> oh look uh, at Liam. <laughs> I can't. I think the, uh, the last things I see are Bertrand and Dorian and Frida, and uh, and I just feel connected to everybody. And some, some connections are made with wires, and some are made with blood, and some are made with bone, and some are made with wood, <laughs> <laughs> but they all matter, and, uh, and they, even in this dark, dark cave, they make every day a smiley day. <laughs> and so I, I just sign off and go. The red that's burning in FCG's eyes fades to a white and a had turned to a smile towards all of you as you see the energy in the core begin. <laughs> Odahan, you see, notices this awkwardly and goes to pull, and you just grab her and hold her there before she even gets a chance to dart. <laughs> there is a ball of crackling energy that just fills the space. <laughs> holding aloft and burning. Rocks around are being pulled into and incinerated, and there's a bit of a, a gravity tug in its direction. You all kind of catch yourself in this moment of disbelief before it stops, leaving a crater in the ground. The sound of hundreds of small pieces of metal begin to sprinkle across the room. And the charred, lifeless body of a handful is left there. <sighs> Think about heroic sacrifice. Um, is it doesn't just give meaning to the person in the moment. For instance, inspiration we have to carry with us. I 
as this moment of tragedy washes over you. In ways that maybe some of you already knew or are realizing right now. But the stakes are really now than ever. Sam packing up his stuff. I don't like that. This last can't be in vain. As the silence and numbness begins to subside, you can hear the distant sounds of shouting and soldiers and people coming without even kind of consciously thinking about it, you know you have to keep going. Anyone have any last All moments right. here in this chamber? I have chamber? to end it there. Oh boy, hooly dooly. I didn't cry, I would like everyone to know to go on the record that I didn't cry, but that's mainly because I was looking at YouTube chat. Hey, don't feed the trolls. <laughs> Unholy, I'm not sure if you're trolling. It feels like you are, but I think we can just leave that discussion there. If you want to keep going on about how the show is scripted, uh, I will probably end up banning you. Um, so we'll just we'll just leave it there. I'm fine. You're totally fine. I love how I'm getting called out about not <laughs> liking the video. I watch it on Twitch, okay? I'll watch it on Twitch. I think you'll sit out a few episodes. Yeah, I don't anticipate we're going to see Sam back for a while. Uh, for at least for a while. If at all. If at all. You definitely cried. <laughs> yeah, how many of you cried? Who's cutting onions? Uh, we're all out in the rain. Exactly. I mean, I, I actually didn't cry. I did cry a lot in the first one, though. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> well, what? Yeah, what a moment. That will absolutely go down as the moment to remember for this campaign, I think. I don't think any other moment really is probably going to top that. I think it's going to be like the cupcake moment in campaign two. It's just going to overshadow everything. The first, how do you want to do this when no one cheered? I know. If at all. Well, I don't know. I don't think he's leaving, but I'm just like, he joked about see you in campaign four and it feels quite late in the campaign to bring in a new character. Who knows? I don't know. We were talking about this at the top of the stream, how it might be difficult to integrate a new character this late, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. I can't even mourn with the FCG plushie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Matt is a lot more familiar with how optimization works than any of his players and sometimes that shows out. Yeah. I mean, I think that's just always going to be the case though. Like sometimes you might just have like a strategy doesn't play out or you forget about an ability that would have like changed things like in the heat of the moment. You know, I think it happens a lot. There's at least a year left. I mean, that's what you could say that, but we don't know. We don't actually know. Who knows? Maybe Sam would like to have a break to work on Legend of Vox Machina. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, well, I think we should continue in this vein um, with a couple more clips. Please throw in the chat what you think, uh, what your favorite FCG moments are. What time is it? I've got to keep another time because I do have to go to work after this. Boo to my boring day job. Um, what are some of your favorite FCG moments that we can watch together? I think, okay, I think one has to be when we meet, uh, when we learn about who who the other members of the benefit, of the, the division of public benefit were. What episode was that? Hold on. I've got to pull up the transcripts. <laughs> Unless someone can remember the episode for me. Um, uh, is it? It's episode one. It is episode one. Okay. That's lovely. Did you give yourself your name or? No, no. Uh, Between. I asked your middle name. Or your or last name. Or cut grass. Yeah. I, I, I'm just called fresh cut grass. I don't, um, I don't really distinguish between a, a surname or anything like that. Did you give yourself your name or? No, no. Um, my former associate gave me my name. Um, she named all of her, uh, all of her creations after 
her favorite uh, smells. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. There was a bunch of us. Uh, there was there was me. There was oatmeal. Uh, there was apple pie. There was pussy. Um, there was a oh. bunch of a bunch of us. Wow. It's so nice to see other people having to hear this. It's really just bringing everything into sharp perspective. <laughs> this is been <laughs> Risha, Robbie, I just broke a it. day. That took me a bit by surprise. <laughs> this has been a day. Uh, you, you, uh, what was what was your name? <laughs> wow, it was just thrown out there so quick. Um, Did you say so? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, My name is Fern. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's. let's, let's I want to find the moment there where we find out what happened to. Oh, this is so dumb. I remember I yelled at the screen when this happened. Hold on. Okay. You know what it. <laughs> Ask me about what my it? pussy t-shirts? Oh, no. We are going to Joe. That's an uncomfortable in invitation. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, think Fresh cut grass shirt. destroyed my pussy. No. <laughs> there it is. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, you make your way through the street. <laughs> With I, was, I, was oh. I was dancing around. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. That's great. You could have a whole line. My pussy has a buzz song. Uh, oh, that's good. That's actually not bad. If you see my pussy, call this number. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Well, it was a good run. Sorry. It was a good run. We made it to this episode and no further. <laughs> Wait, weren't you the one eyed monster? Yeah. I was. Yeah, the one eyed monster slayed my pussy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No! <laughs> These are, this is canon. Yes. That is canon. I know. The flesh hug is off, but that did. is. Sam! <laughs> what's wrong with you? I. <laughs> I'm just. Uh... <laughs> just Matt realizing. Just Matt realizing that he completely. Uh, that Sam had completely set that up. Oh my god! Okay, we can move on from the dirty jokes now, but... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, when he snaps from stress for the first time. Yeah, when did he... When did he first stress? When did he first stress? When did he first snap? What episode is that? I need episode numbers, people, because I don't remember otherwise. <clears throat> oh my god. It's so funny. Just... Oh, episode 31? Early, wait, I don't know which, what people are, early episode 34. Oh no, people are saying 31, people are saying 35. Okay, I'll try 34. Hello, everyone. Let's check the Flando timestamps. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it can't be because Lordna died episode 33. So it has to be earlier than that because Lordna like this so it has to be it can't be episode 34 yeah 31 breaking point Hello? thank you <laughs> i got there i saw people in the chat were correcting me um is it this okay just back up for wow. one second just to cl clarify me because i'm i'm like at death's door here so i wasn't focused oh, yes, that's true. he's working he's oh, working oh, oh, let me just, i'll put it out <laughs> <laughs> show me that big tongue <laughs> try turning them off and on again <laughs> Wait, is ira no? is working with thule hold on or is it just say reshedding well, hold on Mm -hmm. Is it toward the end? Oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. <coughs> Dancer. Got it. 
it's me, fresh cut grass again. Oh, hold on. What need I'll are have you? To skip past because I can't show too many. Clips. Static? Static. Oh, in me? Flashes in your mind. <gasps> oh shit! You take. Oh god. <gasps> oh no. Four points. Four points of what? Four points. Oh boy. Four points. Of what? Oh boy. That's not good. Okay. Points of what? Points of health. <laughs> okay. I'm so, I'm so fidgety, I'm sorry. Um, I, I guess you'll see uh, fresh cut grass just sort of go silent for a second and go limp a little bit and just sort of hang hang their head down a bit and kind of kind of sort of fade Letters? we need chetney to bunk him on the head forget i just take thought i don't know <laughs> there is of tims old Okay. Team. becomes a heavy crowd going to peer head begins to speak. Okay. Uh, voices? The voices you have are other mm -hmm. bird voices. Brain Sorry. And I'll smell it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll move. Okay. And I will. <clears throat> oh no! Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I guess first. Oh no! This whole time we were worried about <laughs> fucking werewolf. The werewolf's fine. Well. Is he? Because he mm. just did that. I showed you what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll. I guess I'll just buzzsaw him. <laughs> Said so casually. <laughs> <laughs> and almost an immediate reaction to the impact of the mallet with a soft clung, you watch the limp body of Hershka Grass just snap oh into one fast killing motion as the buzzsaw <laughs> ramps up and lunges for Chetney. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Do I get any sort of bonuses? You have in advantage this state? on this. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna need it. I'm okay. sorry, Walmart. I'm actually really hard to <laughs> uh, That's a 19 to hit. Oh yeah, that is, yeah, that hits. Uh, any bonuses to damage or just as is? Uh, I think it's just as is. I'll double check here in a second. Oh. Oh, I rolled terribly. Holy shit. for damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the night of Travis going, oh I fucking God, told you. Yeah. <laughs> Various I told you so. <laughs> no, I just, just, it just, uh, weapon? Uh, uh, can I also attach to my rights? <laughs> oh, first so much, so much attacking, but I into ah! right into Movement to just get right up on him, and I'll just start saying, why don't you shut up? Why don't you shut your fucking mouth? Everyone roll initiative. Oh my god! This is so good. I mean, yeah, <laughs> Travis the button pusher. Travis so excited. I'm sorry, Tra that's not Travis, that's William. I feel like William and I share a connection in that um, we both want our characters to suffer and like we we I don't know I think I'm also a bit of a button pusher and so I just like I get the same reaction I'm not like oh no I'm like yes when shit like that happens so it's it's very exciting you haven't liked this video either I'm sorry I watch the episodes on Twitch I don't watch them on YouTube oh man Travis is great yeah I, I live for Travis's reactions. Travis and Abria sitting next to each other for Calamity was like my dream, my absolute dream. Yeah, his name's William. <laughs> if you know, you know. You know what's going on. I'll never, I'll never have a moment to redeem myself, so I'm just going to lean into it, I've decided. Oh, 
my gosh. For a nice compilation of FCG and the flat Xandria stuff. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, I love FCG and Frida's day. Yes. You still got to watch Calamity. Just Jane. It is so worth it. It is, it is unparalleled. It is incredible. I highly recommend it. I really, really recommend it. It's so worth it. Damn ads. Yes. Ad break. Going to take a quick little break while we run an ad and I will be back very soon. See you soon. Right, everybody welcome back yeah sorry about the ads um i put it in the twitch chat but um i know the ads suck but they also do support the channel 
Um, and I try and take a break when they run so you don't miss anything. So, yeah, I'm sorry about them, but there's nothing I can do about them. I do have to run them. Um, and I try and make it as uh, un- in undisruptive, the least disruptive it can be. Um, I'm getting a warning that my YouTube stream is, like, not good. Use a stream bit rate. Oh, now it says it's fine. Maybe that was an old old thing. I don't know. Good lord! We've got 500 people or something over on YouTube. What the heck? 400 people. It's okay. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't see... <laughs> I didn't see, um... I didn't see how many people were over there. <laughs> Um, and also, oh, I was talking to Twitch about the ads, but YouTube, I don't really have any control. I don't have much control over where the ads run on YouTube. So I'm, I am sorry. I hope they're not too disruptive. I kind of put them on the lowest setting for, for YouTube. So it was about 700 earlier. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't know that because, um, then I probably would have fully melted down. I know you exist. I just didn't know how many of you there were. Especially because YouTube, I find that, oh, I only have top chat on. <gasps> That's probably why. <laughs> That's probably why I haven't been able to see. I'm so sorry if I've been miss. I mean, I've been missing messages anyway because the chat is going too quickly for me. But um, now I have I have all chat on instead of top chat on. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Right, somebody has requested, or quite a few people over on YouTube have suggested the divination rules in episode 68. I actually don't remember what this is about, so I'm sure I will once I see it. Um, someone's given me a timestamp. God bless you. Thank you so much for the timestamp. Yeah, me too. Hold on. Um, three hours, 27. <laughs> Oh, I do remember this now. I do remember. Okay. Browser. Okay. La, 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 la. Oh, nice. change bringer. Change bringer, my love. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted <laughs> <laughs> to find <Hi>. someone <laughs> to repair this specific thing, where would I go? Is that yes, yes or no? Yes, no, no it is not. Oh, okay. It is a single question concerning a specific goal, and he can give me a, a reply, a phrase, a cryptic rhyme, an right. omen. It's not a yes or no. There's just like a gentle wind that just kind of perpetually sits around the voice of the tempest, just like a soft breeze, especially in times of contemplation. Oh. Um, the wind kind of gives the gentle sound, but across your, where your ears would be, I guess, uh-huh. um, for your your your, your, your your audio sensor. Uh-huh. Um, Weirdly, my audio sensor is in my perennial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh cool. <laughs> Off the directional sensor. <laughs> Just like a Yeti mic. <laughs> <laughs> Audio's always my. Yeah, yeah gotta, but... drop, gotta drop that mic. <laughs> Drop that snowball. Um, but the wind seems to almost carry the faint elements of a voice to your mind. The path is one from your past you are most bound to. Oh, wow! Oh, <laughs> The path, the path from one from my past, I am most, most bound, bound to. That's D. That's D. That's is D. it or is it dancer? No, you're, it's D. We shared a lot. I killed her. Yeah, but you're most bound <laughs> to the to dancer. To this guy who to dance. To dance. No, to, 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 to D. They both start with a D. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> most bound to D. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Because he sold me your in the shared, scrapyard? You know, your, your shared shared identity. Identity. Yeah, it's the same way. That means same. freedom. No, I, I think maybe. Oh, you can cast it more times if you want. Do it again. What, divination? You can't be yeah. more specific. Do it again. <laughs> be like, are you talking about. Oh, change for. <laughs> Sweetness. You know my faith for you is so strong. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I'm right. I'm more bound 
to Dancer or D, and please don't say, you're more bound to the one that starts with a D. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love your hair, by the way. It's really beautiful. So Trying to save your life. Make it easy for us. <laughs> save your life. <laughs> Don't be a douche. <laughs> The thing is, you're uncertain if the spell is reaching out to the god or just a servant of the god. Mm, got it. But the information comes either way. Mm. <clears throat> Dragon attack. It's a path to the mind. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can watch this whole thing because I know it's quite long. We'll we'll finish this one up. The path to the mind of that which gave you life. Renewed. Oh, that was clear. He did it again! No, 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 that was clear. That's clear. That's deep. That's deep. deep. That's Dancer! I'm with Sam. I don't know. Might be dancer. I'm with Sam. I think that was dancer. I think it was supposed to be dancer. Anyway, I don't think we can keep watching the rest because it's quite a long clip, but that is very funny to me. Very, very enjoyable. But yeah, what do you think in the chat? Do you think it was supposed to be D or dancer? I think it's going to be dancer, obviously. I don't actually remember what happened after this. Maybe it's like confirmed either way, but <laughs> Sam was a fantastic cleric. Very good. It was on purpose both, maybe, yeah. I mean, it would keep playing into the the joke of it being silly. It was Dancer. <laughs> I was the one that started with the, I've been here the whole time. Yeah, because Dancer rebooted him, exactly. It was like life renewed, you know? Very good. All right, before we move on to the next clip, I want to, um, while I have a captive audience, because haha, I have captured you, with my wiles. Um, I just want to share with you because I'm extremely proud of um, my live D&D show. Hopefully it will be the first thing that comes up. Thank you. Um, Big Crit Energy, which is a live Dungeons and Dragons show um, that I host once a month here in my hometown. And we have just started uploading videos to YouTube so that you can watch regardless of where you are in the world. Because I know a lot of you are not in Australia. And if you are in Australia, not a lot of you are in South Australia. So um, if you would like to check it out, this is the channel here. I would really appreciate you giving it a go because I think it's really funny. I know I'm biased, but like, I think we're really funny. <laughs> so um, I'm really, uh, really, really proud of this project and I would love to continue it. Um, we are an all queer, all chaos cast. Um, it's extremely chaotic. We're playing Wild Beyond the Witchlight. And um, this is our first episode or our first session um, of this new campaign. We have done a bunch of live shows before, but this is the first time we're going to be doing once a month and I'm going to be uploading the recordings to YouTube. Um, so I know it's not the best quality recording. I know the audio quality is not, you know, the critical role standard. It's our, it's just the best we can do as a little tiny production. Um, so yeah, please check it out. Do I have like a clip I can show you? I think I uploaded a short. Yeah, here we go. There's this one. All right. Oh, uh, volume. Where's where's the volume? Okay. Hold I on. was gonna ask. Is he Can I take it back? Can I? How do I? Got, I want. How do I? Carry, I want here we go, to okay. out. No, 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 no. Periwinkle, you see Chod <gasps> coming over to you. So Chod is a satyr. I was gonna ask. Is he a satyr? Watch my. He's got watch shiny my golden stuff. hair. Extremely muscular. He's just wearing the tiniest vest. It like just covers the nipples and oh nothing no. else. And he comes and he's like, yo, Periwinkle, oh my God, it's been so long since I've seen you. Uh, so dumb. Guys, I, f- I forgot how hot Shot is. You can't let me, you can't let me flirt with him, okay? It's, no, stop, no. It's like any time he's around, I hear this sexy music. <laughs> he, puts a, he puts an arm up on the wall to lean in. No. No. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. But if you can meet me later before like the big top extravaganza. Which of us is gonna be the big top this time? 
You put yourself in that one. You did. Yeah. 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 Perry Winkle, okay. you see. All right, that is my <laughs> that's over my show. Um, so I hope you will. I hope you will check it out. I think it's good. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's beginning critical role quality. Exactly. Um, I have a really really wonderful cast of players. You might have recognized Ellen Graham, who is another uh, tabletop role playing streamer, um, also a member of Roll to Cast, the podcast. Um, and then I have three other performers who are local Adelaide performers. Um, in uh, I've got two burlesque performers and a poet. Um, so it's a really, really incredible cast. Um, we're at a wonderful queer venue called My Lover Cindy. Uh, anyway, that's enough self-promo, but it is my channel, so I do feel like uh, I'm allowed to be indulged. Um, so I hope you'll consider checking out. I will drop the link one more time in the chat. <clears throat> I think it's better quality than Critical Role Campaign 1. I mean, thank you. We do try our best. Um, yeah, Ellen fully got me with that, though. I did not expect it. <laughs> um, I also have set up a TikTok for us, actually. Sorry, I will do one more bit of promo. Um, hold on. I'm, I'm always scared I'm going to, like, accidentally dox myself when I open up my browser window. <laughs> I don't know why, because I don't think it's possible. But, um, yeah, we've also set up a... TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, please follow. It's a very tiny account, obviously. Um, uh, yeah, and it would be, and I'll be posting clips there as well. So yeah, the episodes are only an hour long, so it's a pretty easy watch. It's not like a four hour long session. It's just one hour. Um, yeah, that's it. Anyway, please check out my live D&D show. That'd be fantastic. Did you ever get them to stay on track to your story or do you just keep or do they just keep creating their own? Well, Schmick, this time I put them on some he- I put them on some heavy duty railway tracks. <laughs> Cause for people who've come to previous shows, it is extremely chaotic. My players are the most chaotic I have ever worked with. And it's sometimes very hard to keep them focused. Um so this time um I put them on I put them on some heavy duty railway tracks <laughs> with their permission. Um yeah, so it's it's very fun. Good night, Critter's gotta sleep. No worries, Enchanted Waffles. Have a good sleep. <clears throat> Yes. So anyway, that's it. That's my show. Please check it out. Um, I would really love it to be successful because I think it's funny and good. Uh, That's it. Okay. We can go back to talking about FCG now. Um, Okay. Any other clips we want to do? I want to do, where's the flesh tongue? That's what I want to know. When do we first learn of the flesh tongue? And then I also need to check the time. What time is it? Oh, okay. I still got a bit of time. Just gonna pull up the transcripts again. Can I won the first 50 episodes, the quality was really not that good. Yeah, the yeah, I definitely struggle a lot with the audio quality of earlier campaign one. The longer the better. I mean, I prefer shorter episodes, but yeah. So these are it's a two and a half hour, oh, it's a three hour show. No, it's a two and a half hour show, including an interval. So each I, I split the show up into two halves. So I released the first half already. Second half will come out next week. Um that means that those halves are around about an hour. Um Oh, the kiss? Yeah, we'll do the kiss as well for sure. Um, let's see. Is it? I think it's this one. Can't hurt me. <laughs> really rely solely on charity and t- Oh, yes. Bitch! <laughs> Next time. They all look at each other, the care of put together. Um, like some. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Apple to chutney. Wait, let me bring it up for you. How's your smell? Smells good. <clears throat> FCG, you want some copper? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so weird. Does FCG have a tongue? Ding, ding, ding. It just goes like. Yeah, do you have like a silver flap yeah. for a tongue? Let's just say yeah. 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 <laughs> it's now canon. Uh, but it's made of flesh. <laughs> oh God, no! All of a sudden, we all no, no, no. Everything that's, that's actually alive. Oh, oh, no. No. They were a cyborg the whole time. I hate this. Oh, He's slowly coming back. Uh, <laughs> flesh tongue FCG can't hurt me. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, set sail. You gotta get back <laughs> Very good. All right, so somebody said episode fifty-five. Oh, did I not? Oh, it's right there. I was like, "Where is it?" Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, to- Flando to the rescue. The adventure begins. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Is this it? Okay. 
Exactly. I, my I joints are we... a little tight. Maybe you yeah. need to, you know. I don't think this is it, but this is quite funny. Okay. There you go. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, tight. Tight. Oh, tight. oh my god. Okay. Tight. Okay. I wonder how this Ooh. works. You just. Okay. This is not. Screw me. This is not. <laughs> we're, we're not doing all sex jokes. Um, when is it? Uh, is it this episode? Hmm. Uh, does anyone have episode 55? But when is it? I can't tell from these timestamps. <laughs> is it? Is it directly after that? Sure, the success with Wild Beyond the Witchlight, I lost all of the beginning characters and I'm just going to do a fairy tale campaign. Do you mean you lost like your PCs? Yeah, I think my, my campaign of it is going to end up being like quite a lot different. Um, then, oh, putting the tongue to use. Here it is. Um, then the actual module because my players are so wild. Okay, putting the tongue to use. We, we got stuff to do, so we should probably just go do it, right? And I'll lean in quickly and kiss FCG. <gasps> 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 It was a cheek kiss. Oh, it's just a cheek I'm kiss. I'm gonna turn over and, and and meet and meet more more Lippy if if that's nice. <laughs> There's no tongue. There's no tongue. <laughs> Man, might have the if, art. If, <laughs> if my rose gold cheeks could blush, they would be blush. Oh. Okay. Um, and with that, I I'll I'll just give you a knowing look and. What is it? <laughs> favorite aorma. Very sweet. Very sweet. Love the emotion, Will. Yes. <laughs> FCG and Free took the regression. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. We found it. We found it. That was very cute. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that might actually be a lovely clip to end on because I do have to wrap up pretty soon to go um, to go to work. But before I do that, I want to have a little speculation on – I've we've touched on it a little bit. Uh, a little speculation on what we think Sam might do next. Is Sam going to come back with another character? What's that character going to be? Just wild revelation, wild speculations in the chat. Please throw out your, your wild theories. Um, yeah. And I, I don't know. I guess we will, I guess we will see. Um, I am hoping that it's going to be like a Rylorin. Like, or not necessarily a Rylorn, like somebody born on Ruidus. That's what I really hope for. Because I feel like that would give us an in that we need. It would give, um, I don't know. I just think it would make a lot of sense for the story. Because then it would make sense for Bell's Hells to work with this person. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see, like, if, if there's going to be a new character, I don't think we're going to see it for quite a while. Maybe a month or so. Um, I think, yeah, maybe a few three or four episodes I don't know we'll see I guess it depends what makes sense because it depends on the character because if, if it's going to be like a, a, a Rylauren for example then it would need to make sense that it's going to be introduced or whatever I think Sam's going to hit us with pussy <laughs> I really hope we don't see a, a returning character even though that would be very funny <laughs> a Rylauren brute oh that would be fun um Sam comes back as Tarion. I did see a lot of people saying that, but yeah. I think it's going to be somebody new, if, if someone at all. Sam doesn't come back and they do a reoccurring guest thing for a while. That's kind of what I'm wondering, Cassius, as well. Needs to be small. Something Betrayer-related. Oh, yeah, to get, like, another side of the, the like, kind of party. That would be great. I'm so sorry, Sunflower Girl. I think we, we might have to... We'll have to get together and do some more clips later. I know a few people requested the Feywild wrap up. I hope no. I don't want Beth's son to come back. No way. We need a healer. That's true. Your vote is Sam never returns. Oh yeah. 
You can be a moon person because Liam is moon obsessed. Yeah, that's true. Is Liam going to choose this next character for Sam? That's an interesting, interesting thought. Yeah, Gumplum, exactly. Yeah, just wondering if Liam will choose the character. A Rylauren bard? I don't think he will play a bard again, necessarily. And then just got new player, got new players just in the fair one. Oh, fair enough, Jackie. Oh, it's always hard trying to get the, yeah, a new campaign going. Divine Soul Sorcerer. Oh, I hope we don't see another sorcerer. We already have two sorcerers in the party. What would we call, be cool to see? Um, are there like any that we, any classes that we haven't really seen much of in Critical Role? They've covered all of them, haven't they? Surely. Paladin would be pretty cool. An artificer planned as a backup, says Liam. Oh yeah. But I, 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 I don't know. I don't know like if, if Sam would come back as a class he's already done before. Maybe a new one would be cool. Mm. Character who is evil but wants to be good. Oh. Yeah, it could be like a Ruby Van Vanguard turncoat. Play Scanlan for a brief period of time. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've made my thoughts about that known. <laughs> that would not be ideal for me, to be honest, even though it would be, you know, fun to see a returning character, I think. I'm, I'm always in I'm always in for seeing something new. If his backup character isn't from Realtus, they could have been rescued in the prison mission. Oh yeah. Human fighter named Vanilla. <laughs> yeah. A gnome werewolf just to troll Travis. <laughs> that would be so mean. But doesn't Artifice say he could explore what is left of FCG's story? Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's just, we don't know because we're looking in from the outside, but we just don't know how much of the story is left planned and, you know, what that's going to mean. Can I get a link to the socials for the new project? Absolutely. Always. Here is the TikTok. Um, here is the YouTube. Uh, we are also on Twitter. Um... We're also on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm doing my best to actually do socials, but, you know, there's a lot to do. Uh, forward slash being crit energy. There we go. Oh, mage healer from Ruidus. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. I think, it, yeah, either way, I think it will probably be a little bit of a while. Like, it'll be a bit of a while before we before we see any new character. It'll be a ranger. Oh, yeah. Maybe a homebrew subclass. Something kind of similar to, like, a Daggerheart subclass or something. That could be pretty cool. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But, oh, man, what an episode. That is certainly going to go down in history. And yeah, fresh cut grass. What a way to end the story. I would have liked to have seen a bit more. I would have loved to have seen more about Aeor and learning more about, you know, FCGs or like learning more about Aeor through FCG. But that's not to say that we can't do that still, but yeah. He'll come back as Dorian. Oh, I don't think he'll come back as Dorian, but it would be very cool if maybe Sam sits out for a while and Dorian comes back in. That would be cool. I'd be all right with that. I'd be okay with that. Mm. Oh, they got down to six of that before FCG's nuke. Oh, there you go. There you go. I was wrong. Oh, change was indeed brought. Absolutely. I miss Robbie. Me too. I would love to see Robbie come back for a bit. That would be really cool. Well, before we finish up, um, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Luna. I do these Critter Talks once a week-ish. Sometimes I miss a week. I have missed a couple of weeks recently. Um, I also have a YouTube channel where I, well, if you're watching on YouTube, you obviously know this, but for those on Twitch, I have a YouTube channel where I make videos about Critical Role as well as D&D &D and other things. I have a couple of other little videos planned that are more like D&D &D related. Um, yeah, and I've got like a dagger heart video. I might do some more dagger heart stuff. So it's a bit of a mixed bag over there. Uh, and we also have a Discord where I don't have my my stream deck plugged in. Sorry, so I have to do this manually. We also have a Discord where we have a Critical Role watch party every week, and we have a bunch of 
Why is that not working? Um, a bunch of channels devoted to Critical Role chat, as well as like other things like art and cosplay and movies and stuff. It's a good time. It's a nice place to hang out. Uh, I'll put it in YouTube as well. But if you, for some reason, if the link doesn't work, you should be able to find it just by Googling Luboff and Discord, I'm pretty sure. Found you through the Daggerheart content. Oh, lovely. Yay. That makes me happy. Yes, I'm hoping to do some more um, Daggerheart stuff because I've been really enjoying it. I'm still not super sold on the fear mechanic for DMs, but for GMs, sorry, but we'll see. Um, all right. Well, I think that's everything. Uh, I'm also on Twitter and stuff like that. Um, next stream, we'll have a new sub giveaway goal. I totally forgot to promote it, but I also do have a goal to get a new computer chair because I don't know if you can see this very well in the camera. I mean, I can, but my cats have destroyed this chair. Also, I got it secondhand, so it's also, it's getting on in its years and I'm trying to take better care of my body and I sit in this chair so much. Um, cool. I think that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been absolutely delightful. I really missed this. So hoping to do this again. Um, I will see you in the Discord. I will see you on Twitter um, and all of that stuff. So yeah, have a great rest of your day and smiley day to you. Bye.